you hit up Danny Molin and you paid him basically $3,000. Three. Yeah, because I'm a big money guy. Fucking, where my designer, my to, Gucci? To do a video. Oh, yeah. So yep. h- how did that came to be? Because that's pretty crazy spending basically $3,000. Um, some people don't even earn that in a year. <laughs> some Damn. people. Yeah, I guess if you're in Asia, fucking in, in the rice fields or something. Um, but how did it come to be? I am a, a big Danny Mullen fan. I think he's uh, probably the best YouTuber creating comedy content right now in 2020. And uh, he had an op- uh, option on his Patreon called Release the Kraken, where if you gave him $3,000, he'd fly out and, and make a video. And, you know, why the fuck would Danny Mullen want to, like, talk to me or engage with me in any way? I'm just some dude, you know, in the Internet, on the Internet. Like, he had no reason to want to make a video with me. So I, I put up the money yeah. to I – put, I put up the money to, you know, incentivize and, and guarantee that I could, uh, you know, meet the guy and collaborate with the guy. Kind of like an investment. Yeah. You know what I mean? Two questionable things uh, that you did in your life so far. <laughs> yeah. Quit, quit your job for YouTube with a master's as a teacher and then pay $3,000 to a random YouTuber to do a video. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so he could film me pissing my pants in a gas station. Fucking good career move right there. That's wild, dude. <laughs> Smart guy. Oh, it's paying off. Let me tell you, dude, I'm fucking rich. I have 7,000 subscribers, and I'm fucking rich now, man. <laughs> rolling in the money. I'm definitely not uh, fucking my bank account up. But was it actually worth it when you um, did that video with him and paid all that money? I mean, it's worth it in the sense that I got to have that experience, hang out with Danny, meet Leo Tavio, Nico Villacresis, and kind of like break into the, that world. It's like opened uh, doors and led me to opportunities that are invaluable but like mm-hmm. um i didn't get a big subscriber jump from just being on danny's channel mm-hmm. you know what i mean like i was hoping i would get like you know fucking 10k subs just from being on the channel but it doesn't really work like that yeah youtube is weird <laughs> so i learned I, I learned pretty quickly that you know I, if i don't put out good content on my own no one's gonna give a fuck uh because i only i only got like 180 or 280 subscribers the day yeah. or two after I was on his channel. That's a decent amount, but for a, a big YouTuber, that's like a little bit. Yeah, well, like yeah, for someone that wants to, I, I want to make a living and like have a career on YouTube. So uh, I was hoping for that thousand, two thousand sub jump, but it is what it is. To, to further elaborate, why Danny Mullen? It's because I think that he's uh, hilarious and uh, you know a comedic. I uh, maybe I don't know if I want to say comedic genius, but he's like a very great intelligent comedian he's got a a funny fan base and i i knew that if i could get his fans to look at my stuff they weren't going to be offended and they probably a large percentage of them would uh you know pick up what i'm putting down so okay it's like if you think about targeting ads in adsense or if you've ever advertised on youtube uh you know you can target your ads with keywords it's like essentially keywording danny mullen being in one of his videos and how is danny mullen as a person um off camera if he's a fucking piece of shit (laughs) <laughs> uh danny's really nice and really in- intelligent and works super hard i think the that was kind of the resounding notion i got out of hanging out with him is that uh yeah he doesn't slack off and he gets his videos done every week and, and puts uh, a lot of time into editing them for me he's like up there like he's my i think my favorite youtuber and one of the best youtubers out there right now because i feel like it's it's hard to be a YouTuber now that's different because everyone's basically the same and people get rewarded for doing the same over things over and over and over. And Danny's doing kind of something kind of different. Like he basically has a show kind of like you on YouTube. Yeah, Danny's very uh, original and unique. And it's 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 interesting on that tip. This week I was doing some uh, just YouTube uh, diving and I, I was looking at some of Andrew Hale's old videos if you know who that is from uh, yeah i know who he is and salim from nelk essentially just rehashed a bunch of andrew hale's 2011 2012 old video ideas like the shaking people's <laughs> hands with stuff in his hand the moaning in their ear uh mm. all these asking people uh, uh questions and then like interrupting them and saying like don't tell me what to do he pretty much just rehashed andrew hale's old bits and then like blew up from it it's kind of interesting but yeah, that's what's that's what's so awesome about Danny Mullen. He's, he's so original and uh, unique. He doesn't want to copy people. And the, the the thing that I hate the most is that people like that that are very unique don't get rewarded as much as those other people. 
um, on YouTube that do the same thing. But it's it's whatever, man. At the end of the day, Danny Mullen's pro- longevity is going to always exist more than those others. Yeah, I mean, it's easy to be like a bubblegum prankster and have digestible shit that anyone can watch and pick up in 10 seconds, like on TikTok and shit. Uh, mm-hmm. But why would you want to buy that guy's merch or fucking interact with that guy <laughs> or be his patron? You know, like they're like airhead morons. Um, not to be a dick, but yeah. Danny Mullen, like he doesn't have the, the biggest fan base, but his fans like really fuck with him. They buy his merch. They support him on Patreon. They they they, su- they donate to his live streams because, uh, yeah, because Danny's the fucking man. Danny Mullen regime for life, baby. Alessandro <laughs> knows. 